The Ministry of Tourism's Readiness and Recovery Committee will meantime this morning unveil its proposed plan for re-entry into the tourism market during a press conference at 10 a.m. Tourism stakeholders are working with health and other government agency officials to welcome guests without fear of a second wave of coronavirus infection. The press conference airs live on the ZNES network again at 10 a.m. Meantime, Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Denisio Diagola, says the country could begin imposing air flight fees as early as January as the Bahamas moves toward monetizing its airspace. He's a consultant firm with, he says a consultant firm was hired to obtain guidance on charges and collection protocols. That um, consultancy is almost at an end and they are um, ready to make their recommendations. Um, and so once we receive that recommendation, uh, we will roll it out, um, a fee structure, hopefully by the 1st of July, uh, because it takes six months for it to take effect. So you have to advise the airline industry at least six months in advance before you impose a charge on them so they can adjust their ticket prices accordingly. So even if we were to roll it out on the 1st of July, it wouldn't take effect until the 1st of January. So we're, we're, we're sort of heading towards that, that deadline. Um, but it's very interesting, um, very, very fascinating, and we've done a lot of work on it, and we think that we're close to a solution um, on how to finally make something off our God-given airspace.